Well, hello, welcome to Code Station 33 and our last video for innovation this year. We are going to be working on making a video of all of our projects that we have been working on. Now, some of you have your Scratch projects all in one project, and some of you have them scattered across other projects, or you might have a video that you recorded in PowerPoint, or you might have a, a video that you recorded somewhere else and it's saved on your computer. So all of these different things can be used and put into one video so we can see your entire project uh, that we've been working on for the past several weeks into one project. So the first thing we're going to do is go into Scratch and you're going to log into Scratch and you can see that you're logged in because your icon and your username is there. Make sure you're logged in. Then you're going to click on my stuff and when you do that it takes you to all of your different projects and you can see I have projects from all the different courses listed here so we're gonna go through I'm gonna put some of these together into one big video uh, to do that we need to add a video recording software to our Chromebook so the video recording software we're gonna use is screencastify uh, we're gonna add this by adding a Chrome added so some of you have Chrome extensions already saved on your computer and hopefully you can see this, but it's way up here on the right hand side are all these little icons. So these icons mark the Chrome extensions. We're going to add Screencastify and it's going to be this little arrow with a camera on it to our Chrome extensions up here. Now, if you have too many Chrome extensions, I'll show you in a minute how to remove those. But what you can, so that way, if you can't find Screencastify, you know how to remove it. Uh, so I'm going to click on Add to Chrome. Gets me to the Chrome store. I'm going to click Add to Chrome again. And then it says some warnings, which I'm going to say it's okay. I'm going to click Add Extension. And it's checking and getting ready to set it up. And you can see now it is added. It's this little arrow right here. Uh, added to the Chrome extension tabs up here at the top. So I'm going to go back to Scratch now. Um, if you can't see it, right, if it's not there, what you want to do is right click on any one of the extensions and click on Manage Extensions. Let me show you what that looks like. And then you'll see, whoops, clicked on the wrong thing. Do that again. Right click, manage extensions. And then you'll see your extension that you clicked on. If you click the back arrow, it'll get you to all your extensions. And if you need to remove some of these because you have too many extensions, just click on the remove button. So I'm going to remove Netflix party. And then just click remove. It might ask you to do a survey. You don't have to submit the survey, just close the window. And you can see it is now removed. And you'll now have more space up here in order to get to the Chrome extension that we need, which is the Screencastify. So I'm going to go back into Scratch. I'm going to close all the other windows but Scratch. And I'm going to press the Screencastify uh, video recorder. i got to sign in with Google. So I'm going to do this first. Automatically save videos to Google Drive. We want to do that because we can't save things on our computer. Click Sign in with Google. It's going to give me a little window to sign in. I'm going to hit allow. And it's going to go through an initial setup. So we have to allow it to have access to the camera and microphone. And we're going to click allow and click allow again and then click next. Hooray, we're ready to start recording. Okay, so we don't have to go unlimited. We're not uh, using that. What we're going to do now is click the Screencastify link again up here at the top, and we can see now we can start recording. Now, we could record the webcam. We re could record the desktop. We could record the browser tab. And then you could also record through a microphone. And we can actually use, um, pick a different kind of microphone, whichever microphone we want that's listed here. 
But if you don't want to record any sound on top and you don't want to have any background noise, we could just turn that off. So I'm going to turn that off because I don't want to record any sound. I just want to get the um, screen recording of my program. So I'm going to go to the browser tab. I'm going to record a browser. Let me do that again. Go in the scratch. My microphone is on off. I'm going to click on browser and then I'm going to hit record. Um, I can add more options by doing a countdown. I can add the drawing tools, but I don't know if I want the drawing tools in there. I think they'll be in the way. So I'm going to turn that off. And I think I'm ready to hit record, but first I need a project open. So I'm going to go to, let's say just this first pro, let's go to, let's see. Let's just go to Rocket Blast Off. That's a nice one. I'm going to shrink this back down to 100%. And then I'm going to hit this button right here, which will make it full screen. And then when I'm ready to record, I'm going to press the green flag and then press record. So that way we don't see the green flag there. So I'm going to go here, Screencastify again. Browser tabs all set up. I'm going to hit record. Two, one. Now it's recording. Did the blast off. I hit the button again. And I have an option here to pause it. So I'm going to press pause. Now the reason why I want to press pause is so that way I could go ahead and record the rest of my project. So I'm going to leave this on pause and then I'm going to go back to my other project so you can still see it's still on pause and find the next project to record. So I'm going to go back to my projects and I think after the blast off, I'm going to do an orbit. Now you might be doing your projects, whatever your projects are. I'm just doing these. Uh, again, I'm going to go to the full screen here. Okay. And I'm going to get ready to hit unpause it. So I'm going to hit my screencastify button again. And to unpause it, we're going to hit this button right here to unpause it. So this one just keeps going, so I'm going to get it going and then hit. So now it's recording. Let that go around a couple times. So I'm going to pause it again. And I'm going to go back to my projects. Now if you don't have projects, you may have wanted to do the desktop. If you're recording some other kind of video, maybe you have um, video in PowerPoint or you have a video saved in your computer. So you don't want to record a tab. You're going to want to record the desktop. So that way we get the whole desktop. So we're going to do this one more time. And I'm going to hit the record button. And I've landed. So now I'm going to hit stop because I've gotten everything I wanted. And now it opens up a new screen and I can see, I can take a tour if I want, but I can see it's saving it to Google Drive. And I can copy the link. I'm going to skip the tour for now. I can copy the link and that's the link I would share into my assignment. But let's just see what it looks like. There's my blast off. And there's my orbit. See, I went right to the next video. Probably recorded the blast off a little too long. And then there is my orbit around. So let's go back. You can actually 
there's a spot right here where I have this little play button where I don't really want that in there. I'm gonna hit pause here. Right there, right? So I can press the scissors and I can trim out some of this video if I need to. So like if I decided the, the it was too long or too short, anything that is now highlighted in red and when I hit save trim will get cut. So I don't wanna cut all of that. I can go into the editor and have some more tools to use. Okay, so now we can edit our video here if we need to cut something out. So I'm gonna go in and edit a little bit here. So in the beginning, I have that little bit of a play button. I can also use the zoom button here if I need to get in zoomed a little bit so I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. So I'm gonna highlight the part that I want. So now that I've found, I kind of want this spot right here. You see where, where the play button disappears? What I'm gonna do is put a click with my mouse and then I'm gonna hit this little cut button and see how it splits off the video. Then I wanna do is click the trash and it deletes that part. And then I know this is really, really long. So I think maybe I wanna cut some of this out. So we'll just go the launch. Whoops, maybe I need a little bit more. No, I think I'm good. Okay, if I need to go back and cut more, I will. So I'm gonna to go to the launch and you see how once it launches, it kind of sits up here. So I'm gonna just get the part of the launch and maybe a second or so, put my mouse right there, hit the cut and it splits it off. And then I need to go forward to my orbit. So right about there, hit the cut. So now this is the section that I want to cut out, right? So this is the part where I have the launch. And then this is the part where it just sits there for a while. And then I have the orbit. So I'm going to delete that part right there. Make sure you're deleting the right part. If you make a mistake, there's also undo. So you could click undo. So delete that part. And then I remember there was a spot up here. Wow, there it is, where I have the flag still. So I want to get rid of that part right there. Is it right there? Maybe I need to zoom in a little bit more so I can see it. Right there, put my mark. And then I wanna to get to the point where there's no more flag, which looks like it's right there. Cut, and then this is the part that I wanna delete that's highlighted, the part with the flag. Delete. So now let's go and look at the whole video. Resize this again so I can get to the front and hit play. Oh, let me go back to the beginning. Launches, goes around. And then it will go to the moon. Goes around one more time. And there we go, I got the whole video. So now I got the whole video. I can even cut some at the bottom if I want to. But what I wanna do is at the end is I wanna add some text. So I hit the text button and right here, I can add some text. Maybe put my name. Mr. McLaughlin. And now I'll have this text playing at the very, very end. So kind of like credits, right, for my video. And if you want to put a title at the beginning, we go way to the beginning and hit text and say, trip to the moon. And we can move our text around if we want to and 
change the size and all that kind of fun stuff. Make it bold. Now, if you can't see it, we can change its color. Um, to whatever we want. And then that way you might be able to see it on the background like that trip to the moon. Okay. So that is the whole process for recording it. Now the last thing we have to do is export it. So I'm going to go back and hit this export button up here. And I'm going to export it to Google Drive. It, now, if you're working on a regular computer, you can export it to MP4 and then upload it somewhere. But I think we want to export it to Google Drive. And we're going to save the video and call it something that makes sense is for me, trip to the moon. I'm going to hit save. And it's saving it. It's going to take a minute to do this. I'm going to let this go. Now we can share the link. It gives us a place to share it. So I'm going to hit um, share. And then I can get the link. So I'm going to copy the link. So now I have the link copied. And if you want to just share it with, with me, you could just put my email address in. That works too. Um, but I think copying the link and submitting it to the Google assignment is what I would like you to try to do. So we just click copy the link. And you can notice that only people at New Hope Solvery School District can see it. So you won't be able to share this with other people. You'd have to change this so other people can see it. But for right now, we're just going to do it. Anybody who's in New Hope. Uh, then that's it, right? We have our link here. If you want to change it so other people can see it, we could say anyone with the link. Now your parents could see it if you want to share it with them or your grandparents or whatever. So now you have your link copied. And you'll submit it just like we have submitted all of our other Google assignments, just pasting the link. And that's it. So um, that's about it, folks. I'm wishing you having a great summer. And I missed seeing you at the end of the year. And I hope to see you in the parade. Look for me. I will be at the center of the line. Have a good summer.